All right. Let's talk today about conceptual selling. Uh, I am very good at selling the invisible, things that don't exist, like a website or a sign uh, for a specific company or a book, um, something that doesn't yet exist. It is, uh, in my opinion, a little bit easier to sell something that uh, physically exists, right? You can you can show it, you can point it out, you can describe its features and benefits. Uh, people can see it, they can hold it in their hand, they can get a sense of weight for it. Um, it, it it's real to them, right? Whereas something like, well, I'm going to make you a sign. Uh, I ran a metal fab shop for a couple of years and did a lot of the metal work uh, for a sign manufacturer who did all the wood cutting and wood burning part of it. Um, but we would do letters and frames and stuff like that for them. There was a lot of back and forth collaboration in that field. But as far as like the customer, right? They, they, you know, I want to sign, right? They'd go to the sign company and say, I want to sign. Well, I don't know what that looks like, right? Is it round? Is it rectangular? Is it oval? Is it a triangle? Uh, do you want lettering? Do you just want a symbol? Do you want a name and address on it? Phone number? What, right? Like it could be anything. It, what color? Right? <laughs> Colors. Um, what materials do you want it made out of? It's so, so different. Just like uh, make me a website. Well, um, I can get you a templated WordPress website for 500 bucks. It'll look okay. You know, um, if I made one for you, it'd probably be five to 10,000, maybe a little more. I don't know. Um, there are organizations I work with that start at 20,000 for it. And I know of one that does $40,000 websites as well. And these are customized, hard coded websites that are not WordPress. Okay. At the top end there, but what they have is a difference, uh, is an eye for design. So, and they're better than me. <laughs> like I can freely admit it. They see, um, <clears throat> the invisible faster than I do. Right. When, when I see their design, I'm like, yep, that's good. I know it when I see it and it's better than I could come up with. Um, but as far as like conceptually, they that designer is actually creating the project. OK, and then the customer can adjust it or whatever. But selling conceptually, selling the invisible, it exists in the seller's mind first. And I think that's something that people need to understand. And that's what makes it more difficult um, than than selling a physical uh, product. Right that already exists, that has already been made, like walking into a a toy store filled with woodworked uh, manufactured toys, right? These things are sitting there on the shelf. You can pick them up and play with them and, and you know what it is, right? Whereas again, <clears throat> something like, um, I'm going to make a TV series for you. It's conceptual. Well, okay, that sounds cool, but what exactly are we talking about here, right? Um, and even showing you an example of another TV show, even if it's sort of similar, like in your field or whatever, like it's science fiction or something, right? It's still like there's such a range. We can look at space above and beyond a dark, gritty 90s uh, space thing, or we can look at um, Star Trek, the next generation or something where everything's clean and it's more like an apartment building in space, right? It's these are quite a, a range just in that one category right and you may not even want to do that right instead you might want it to have the guise of a reality show what kind of what kind of skin are we putting on this thing so again this has to exist in the salesperson's mind um, before you can essentially get the uh, prospective client excited about it <laughs> so that's why it can be a little more challenging to sell the invisible um so where i want you thinking about this is like all right first of all what what are you good at what's your what's your natural talent i prefer selling the invisible because then i have a lot more control about how it turns out even if other people are actually doing the work i can still you know get my get my hands in there on strategy and and some idea of like all right i don't I, maybe I'm not the best at picking the colors and the design and the shape and all that stuff. But as far as the functionality, what is this thing going to do? What's it going to accomplish for people who arrive at it? Uh, again, if you're thinking of a website as just a business card online, um, you have missed the point. Uh, that that bus left about 20 years ago, I think. Um, you can do a lot more with websites than just a, a business card all right, or a placeholder to have your information on there. Um, what what kind of strategy are we going to use to impress upon your visitors that you are the best right choice 
with uh, superpowers that they didn't even think of that are now suddenly very relevant to them. Okay, that's the sort of impact that I want. Um, that, that being said, I would I want to redesign my own websites too. <laughs> I've had to pay somebody handsomely to do that. Um, so again, are you are you good in that area of uh, of conceptualizing and then conveying that uh, to the the prospective client and then having them co create with you uh, based on that starting point that you come up with? And they could say no, I don't like that, and you go okay, I'm going to come up with idea number two, right, uh, and go forward with that and see if they like it. Or are you better at um, selling physical things that already exist, have been made, are sitting there uh, on a shelf or in a showroom um, that you can walk a, a prospect over to and say, you know, here's the XJT 6000, right? <laughs> Voila, here it is, right? Um, the, the make and model already exists. Uh, there is an options package, but that is just not the same as selling the, uh, the invisible. That's something that doesn't exist yet. Um, and so, you know, find out your own preferences and, uh, and lean into it, right? It, it can take a little while to get good at selling the invisible because, oh boy, um, as I said, if you share examples of say websites, if you're a web designer with somebody who, um, is looking at working with you and you don't frame it correctly, that sharing and what I expect you to react with, like they could get turned off. They're like, I don't like the color red. And they never tell you that they don't like the color red. They just don't talk to you again because they think, well, all he does is make red websites. And, and like, you're like, no, I never said that, but you don't get a chance to hear it or rebut it. Right. Um, so a lot of the sharing that I like to do is live. Uh, on a Zoom meeting like this, where I could share it, screen share it, and uh, and witness, hear, watch, um, you know, observe their reactions, their live reactions, and that will tell me a lot more. Okay, rather than uh, doing what I call throwing it over the wall, and and who knows what happened on the other side, right? Uh, never, never heard back from them, kind of thing, right? And uh, it stops you from being in that chase mode and allows you to get into, uh, you know, a more collaborative mode where you could be like okay you don't like that all right it's a simple one line coding change to change that website from red to blue or something like that right if, if that's what you like so um find out what your preferences are as far as selling tangible or intangible okay tangible is the the physical goods that are available now to look at see feel drive uh, and intangible are the ones that people sort of conceptually have an idea of, but they have not filled in the blanks very often. Um, they are expecting help uh, unless they're extremely um, focused individuals who who understand this and know what they want. Uh, and then it's up to you to decide whether they're a personality fit for you, right? Uh, can I can I actually do this? Uh, do we have the technical capability to do it? Can I do it in time? Can I do it to the level that they want it done? Uh, and please them, or should I pass on this one or, or refer it to somebody else, right? Um, but intangible is the invisible uh, stuff. Okay, uh, at least I want you thinking about that. Uh, this is part of a series from um, my involvement in Wes Schaefer's 12 Weeks to Peak free group. Go find Wes on LinkedIn or um, Facebook. He didn't pay me to say this or anything like that, uh, but get into his group if you want to finish the year strong. Um, we're a few weeks into that 12 weeks to peak. We still got eight weeks left there plus. So um, there's still time. It's been very effective for me. It's free. I, I don't know why you wouldn't want to be in it if you're a business founder or a uh, salesperson because we need accountability. I'm pretty great on my own, but I still I'm better with accountability, right? I wouldn't have made this video series and there's 20 odd. I think this is the 27th video I've made um, because of it, right? And uh, I just, I post them on Facebook and LinkedIn in the group. And then I post them slowly on, um, on YouTube <laughs> as a series. When I remember it, I think we're at about 14th uh, episode right now on YouTube of just uh, sharing these things for free. So, um, you know, I want, I want to share, it's good for me to go over these things as well, because it reminds me of concepts and ideas and that. And I forget just like everybody else, there's a lot to learn in selling and you only got so much Ram up here and you, you know, <laughs> jam seven new things in and it pushes one out, right? Um, that's at the end of the line of the last thing that you learned. So um, 
So that's why I'm doing these, but get into the group. Okay. Ask him about 12 weeks to peak and sign up for it. And you get some goodies and, uh, and, a sort of a, a list of things to do. And that will help you develop some behaviors. Um, it's changed me a little bit. Right. And I've made a lot more money because of it in the last, uh, you know, eight weeks or something like that. So, or excuse me, um, month, I would say month that I've been involved with this. All right. I'll see you tomorrow.